Pope Francis personally invited the Presbyterian, Episcopal, and Catholic bishops of South Sudan to meet with him in Rome as evidence of existing collaboration in protecting the dignity of the helpless and implementing initiatives for communication and forgiveness. In this meeting, the religious leaders presented the current situation facing the people of South Sudan, who are a majority 70 percent Christian. The three bishops also asked Pope Francis to make a personal visit to their country. We actually asked him if he could visit South Sudan and to, to, if he can make it together with the Archbishop of Canterbury. It will be a big news for us uh, in the country because we have asked him if possibly the church should be supported to, to lead the process of reconciliation and, and peace in the country. For the three leaders, the Pope's trip would leave a lasting impact on the entire country, as they hoped the Pope would address not only the Christians present, but also civil society as a whole. The war, when there is problem, it is always violence. The violence is violence. So you cannot expect good things unless people also talk and advise that you cannot do this. That's what also the church said that when we saw this thing happening, we, we said that the church is stopping. And it's better if there is any grievances to one another, it's better you to sit and iron all these things out by, through dialogue, not through violence. It is with this strong belief in dialogue that the leaders travel to Rome to continue the process of increased communication about their present situation and the lack of support they feel by their government and the entire international community. So our visit here is very much being followed at home, that we are coming to see the Pope, and there is great, great hope in this. And therefore, I think for uh, refugees, it will be already a chance to, f to feel very much that there is something moving. And with the, the, the coming of the Pope, with the visit of the Pope, we have the chance of going back home. So this hope is there, I mean, in the people of the country. The religious leaders hold tight to this hope that one day there will once again be peace in South Sudan, and neither the Muslims nor the Christians will be persecuted against for their faith or beliefs.